Ford Fair. Let's go. And I think to myself, well, I wonder What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. No boring intro today, you already know what's going on. It's Ford Fair 2021 and we're about to get the car loaded up and ready to go. We're on the road finally. It's about four o'clock now and we're camping tonight at Silverstone. So yeah, it takes about an hour and a half to get there from mine. So it's not gonna be too much of a bad journey at all. You guys have probably seen that from previous videos that Lauren's been with me, but I've never actually properly introduced her. So my girlfriend's coming along uh, this weekend for uh, Ford Fair and uh, yeah it's the first time camping for, so we'll see how that goes. I am meeting up with a couple of people tonight. My mate Kieran from Liverpool is coming down in his Escort so we're gonna camp tonight with him. Also Tom Butcher who's got exactly the same colour mark too as mine is gonna pop down and camp with us as well so yeah it'll be a good laugh. The camping is at a golf club pretty close to the circuit so uh, yeah I don't know what to expect because I've never camped at Ford Fair before but we'll just see how it goes. Just stopped off, need to fill up with some uh, fuel. Right, one hour 11 on the maps, so let's go. Do you know where the other field is? The gates up there, they shut, shut off. People right. can walk through there, but the yeah. gates shut there. Right, got ya, got ya. That's tiny, Cheers, mate, nice one. Is it, is it yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh, nice one. Oh, wow, that's mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, wow, what a small world. Yeah, yeah, them bits are wicked, man. We just got here at the camping and we've actually come into a second field. It's much quieter than the first one. The first one's pretty much packed out. But um, yeah, some cool motors here already. And um, yeah, we'll set up the tents and whatnot and then we'll go for a wander. just got the tent set up and uh, I thought I'd have a little look at my wool bearings and see how they are. They were getting a little bit hot on the way there and I did uh, smell the grease. When in the desert, as my boss would say, I had to roll up um, a prototype Mark II Mitch hoodie which I no longer use. I had to go onto that because I'm solo and I bought an old jack and uh, yeah, just a bit of cardboard to protect my seal. So yeah, we got it up and uh, now I can see all the grease has started pissing out the back again. As you've just seen from a couple of videos, um, there's no play in the wheel bearing and it spins freely, but it's still spitting grease out the back. Like, I have no idea what's going on now. Them seals went on perfectly, so it shouldn't be spitting out grease at all. Um, on the plus side, it is still smooth and there's no play in it, so it should be all right. Maybe it's getting rid of the excess grease, but I don't know how it would do that or why it would do that. Um, it clearly means the seal's faulty. <laughs> Oh, 
Weather's taken a little bit of a turn for the worse, but it ain't that bad. All the boys are here now. This is Kieran's Mark 4 Escort. Seen this so much on Instagram before. Proper cool. Really original as well. Really nice. Also got Tom's, that Mark II on Instagram. A lot of you guys will probably recognise this with the RS wheels. Morning everyone, so it is the day of Ford Fair and we've just packed away all of our stuff ready to queue up in the massive queues that Ford Fair normally brings us. As you can see, no more ten, all packed up, got less than we come with so uh, yeah much better. We're going to leave in a little while, uh, it's half eight now, we've got to be in by half nine so uh, yeah we need to find the Ford guys stand and then uh, yeah I need to give the Mark II a little bit of a clean because yeah it doesn't look too good at the moment. Right, we're finally at the Ford guys stands. This is Jack's car, who owns the Ford guys. All right, Jack. Hi, guys, you all right? And uh, yeah, brought his escort along today. So we'll check out the stand in a minute in a bit more detail, but here's his escort for the time being. Really cool. We've just picked up our programs for the day and these little flasks, pretty cool. Got them for free, don't know how. Uh, yeah, they just said they were free on the website, so. Just gonna go for a little wander. I'll probably stop. I'm not gonna do a whole montage for the whole day, but um, yeah, we'll see what we find in uh, Silverstone.
Right, so we found the uh, classic section. I don't know why I'm really bright. My camera's uh, messing up today, but just come across Mike FPE's motor, and uh, yeah, I ain't seen this in a while. Seen this white one on Mike's channel before as well. Honestly, this thing is unreal. Yeah, I love this. Just got back to the car, been looking around pretty much all of this morning. There's so many cars here, I'm literally not going to see them all in one day. But yeah, really good. We had some food as well. The Chinese was probably nicer than the pizza, I can't lie, so Lauren won on that. Mm -hmm. Just come back to get a portable charger because I need to put some of the GoPro batteries on charge. I think we're going to head into one of the grandstands and watch a little bit of racing now. So yeah, I'll just uh, catch back up with you guys when I start recording again.
Just on the way back from Silverstone now, back home. It's about an hour and a half journey. But yeah, overall, what a weekend. Really good and today was non-stop. I literally didn't get to look at all the cars because there's so many there. A nice little mix between the old Fords and the new Fords. Also managed to watch a bit of track time as well. I would have loved to put the Mark II out there, but um, I'm still a little bit wary about these wheel bearings. I want to check them all over once I get home, so we're just taking it easy for the moment. It was a little bit brave of us for camping last night, and yeah, it was a bit rubbish. Uh, the, the weather was poor, and we we're just damp all night. But it is what it is, and uh, yeah, you've got to experience these things. Normally, Ford Fair, uh, there's brilliant weather, so we just got a little bit unlucky this year. Also, I do just want to say a quick thank you to anyone who come up to me this weekend and had a chat. Uh, it's really good talking to you guys and people that watch the videos. I do appreciate um, you guys subscribing and watching my videos. But overall, a brilliant weekend. So I put a lot of names to faces, seeing as pretty much everyone in the Ford scene was there today. But um, yeah, it's a, you have to do it. Ford Fair is uh, up there with one of the best shows, I believe. With that being said, we're going to carry on heading home. Only got about an hour left, so not too bad at all. Remember, if you did enjoy the video, give it a like. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel to see more. Thank you all for watching, and until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Is that a golf close? Pretty close. The camping, is that a golf close? Oh, this, the, the camera was rubbish. Nice bit of a mix between sort of modern, old, but yeah, a nice,